Welcome back to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. I'm Brian. Today we are going to be doing a NECA Toys review and it is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. Why am I talking slow? I don't know. But it is one of the two packs. It is Master Splinter versus Baxter. Baxter Stockman, the insect human fly. Hey everybody, human fly here. I know that's from The Simpsons, but that's what I always think of. Splinter, who, God love her, looks like my my fiancé's former dog who passed away a few years ago. I always think of Master Splinter every time, or I always think of the dog every time I see Master Splinter. Uh, he was a little terrier. But anyway, enough of that. I've been looking forward to this two-pack for a while. I have the turtles ages, and they needed their rat daddy. So, Splinter, I'm absolutely delighted to have. I love the accessories with the little book. Showing off Michelangelo, Leonardo, he's actually reading about the artists and the scroll here and the computer for Baxter as well and the usual guns and stuff as well. What else is in there? Lots of cool stuff. But yeah, Baxter looks great, looks exactly like it did in the cartoon. The artwork is fantastic, as always. On one side, you've got Splinter there reading his little book. On the back, you've got two of them next to each other and you've got to collect them all. You got the Triceratons, you got the Rock Soldiers, and Zarex and Zark. I'm so tempted by them. I wasn't really mad about them when I was a kid. I did have a Triceraton though. But um, yeah, on the other side of the box, you've got Baxter holding his gun and looking all freakishly. So yeah, let's get these guys out of the box. So guys, here we are with the NECA TMNT 2-pack out of the box. And as you can see from the picture, there is an absolute buttload of accessories with these two guys, Baxter and Splinter. And what I'm going to do now is just go slowly through each one of them. Now, I'm not 100% sure on all the accessories. I know some of them are episode specific, but it's years since I've watched these cartoons. So the mind is a bit foggy, but we will do my best. We will do my best. That's not the best grammar. Anyway, we'll start with Splinter. He comes with this awesome little book. Of course, that's where he got the names for the turtles themselves. And there's little pictures and stuff in there. And that looks really, really cool. There's also another just plain brown red book. Nothing on that really, it just looks nice. He does come with a ninja scroll as well. It doesn't really say anything on it, does it? Berserk. Berserkish. And you see what, there's, there's letters there like but. Not very, uh, not very legible, really. If you, like, you could do a crossword or something, maybe, there. Um, he does come with his walking stick. He is holding that. That is accurate as can be. It's like a big turd, really. Uh, he does come with his sword as well. And also with this really, really cool flame accessory. So he can hold that burning down the house but uh, that's really nice he does of course come with different hands there is two other sets of hands these kind of karate ones these ones as well a pointing finger not you Michelangelo and another one for holding stuff as well and that's about it he does come also with a little pre Pre-mutation splinter rat, which is really, really cool. And that's really nice. <clears throat> the biggest accessory that comes with this figure, this set, it, they're standing on it. It's a karate mat. And it's quite like felty, kind of soft material. But that's really cool. The figure himself, he does come with this medallion. That you can take off over his big fat rat head. I don't, I can't remember what episode it's from. But I just took it off and that pops over the ear a little bit and there we go. So that's pretty cool, a yin and yang. And uh, the figure itself, it's, it's awesome. Again, usual neck attacks. Be careful when articulating this guy as neck figures can be quite dodgy. As you all know, he does have an articulated jaw. Which makes him now go, ah, ah. The head goes around again. I have to be very careful. It does go around the whole way. You do get some up and down motion there as well. 
shoulders go all the way around and go out i think yeah there's a double joint at the elbow wrist goes all the way around there is an you have to be careful up and down on that as well a little bit if you open him up there you can see there's a torso joint as well legs go up he has that weird double jointed knees as well that go left and right rather than he does have an articulated ankle as well the tail is made of a tough you can a tough uh, thing you can go up and down there at the tail and go a little bit right and go a bit left pretty cool as for comic uh, cartoon accuracy splinter just looks fantastic has to be said he looks really really cool i'm gonna switch out one of his hands there now so he can uh hold his sword let's see how easy this is oh the nerves oh oof that breaking just haunts my dreams i swear to god oh no that popped in pretty much easily enough at the, at the finish thank god and the sword fits perfect and then all you got to do is you get your and you've now got one badass rat ready to kick ass flaming sword style so let's get to Yeoman Fly here, Baxter Stockman. And once again, we'll move all the splinter stuff over here. We'll get Baxter center stage. He does come with different hands. He has fists on him. He comes with gun trigger finger holding hands and regular stuff holding hands. Hand holding stuff, I mean to say. He does come with his mutation gun, as you can see. On the back, you've got the Wheel of Fortune where he can uh, change you into a cat, a tortoise, a donkey looks like a rabbit. Is that a caterpillar or something? I don't know. And a butterfly fly, whatever. He does come with what he used to be. That's yeah, it's actually the little I can see the light on that. It's actually the the fly version of Shredder. That is really, really cool. He's even got the little helmet and stuff. I kinda remember that episode. It was from years ago. He does have the rabbit version of Michelangelo as well. I really need to go back and watch this episode. He does have this random plant. Someone tell me what that is in the comments. I am not sure. He does come with a regular pistol as well, which is quite nice. It's different to the ones the foot soldiers had. And he does come with this cool computer guy. Now I know he had a name, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. But he does have like um if you can see, I don't know how you can get that there. But it is like a transparent logo thing that moves and stuff. You can see there. And interestingly, on the bottom, there is um, room for a body to go in there. So maybe they're going to release his body with something else. Which would be cool. Because I remember he did kind of become self-aware and stuff. As you can see, the head moves all sorts. It's cool. It's a really, really cool accessory if you had like a table to put him on as well. So Baxter himself, as I said, now people that watch my channel know I'm not a fan of Super 7. But I've always wanted a tune accurate Baxter. I never liked the one that um, came out years ago, the original toy or the Super 7 one. So this one for me is just perfect. Head goes down, left, right, around a bit, again. Be careful if you're afraid of NECA stuff. He does have the whole range of motion there. He does have double jointed elbows, which are fantastic. And you have paint chip in there straight away from that bit of uh, elbow articulation. And this figure is not out of the box five minutes, really. So, yeah, you get paint chipping. <laughs> there you go. Fresh paint chipping from Baxter Stockman. The other one does the same, does it? No, the other one is actually fine. So weird. Uh, he does his things at the back. Do articulate as well. I wouldn't be pushing them too much either. Because they're very skinny and it's stuff like that that usually breaks on neck as wings go up and down and in and out. Again, it's stuff like that that, that freaks me out. 
He does have the double jointed elbows as well, or double jointed knees as well on the legs. And good movement on the feet too. The feet do go up this high. There is and there is um a joint here as well. I'm not too sure how far I can push that though, so I'm not gonna try. But uh Baxter is a brilliant figure, and all he's missing is a flight stand. Really, that's just, no, I can't complain with the amount of stuff that came with them. But I think if you got a flight stand with him, like this one I have here, he would be absolutely perfect. Cause like he's a fly, he need he needs to fall flat on his face, that's for sure. But yeah, he's a fly. He needs to fly like any usual. <laughs> that's an original space gem. But yeah, something like that. I could do better than that. But yeah, guys, this is an ex excellent pack for anyone who was a fan of the original 90s show and Turtles in general. <clears throat> but uh, obviously newer fans of the Turtles mightn't recognize these. But these are selling really well, so I'm sure there is enough people out there. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on the review and what you think of these toys so far. For me, they're absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love them. And uh, yeah, it's great to see they're doing so many more extra ones as well coming soon. So see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Turtle power.